In the vast expanse of the cosmos, humans have long wondered if we are alone. We've gazed at the stars, contemplated distant galaxies, and studied the potential for life beyond our tiny blue planet. That potential has finally come true. NASA's chief just announced that the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe, has captured something extraordinary. Brace yourself, for on the fringes of our cosmic neighborhood, an unbelievable secret has been unveiled, life has been detected on a world called Proxima b, and it changes everything. The chemistry of the atmosphere of exoplanets that pass in front of their host star is now being revealed. Join us as we uncover the secrets brought to light by the James Webb Telescope and what the discovery of life on Proxima b might mean for the future of space exploration and all of humanity. The James Webb Space Telescope is a scientific marvel that promises to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. The telescope's sophisticated technology, combined with its unique position in space, gives scientists an unprecedented view of the cosmos and allows them to study distant galaxies, planets, and stars in a way that has never been possible before. Now, this may sound like a bunch of empty claims, but it actually has the tech to make all of that true. One of the JWST's most remarkable features is its primary mirror, which measures 6.5 m in diameter. This is over twice the size of the primary mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been one of the most important tools for space exploration over the past three decades. With such a large mirror, the JWST is able to capture the faintest glimmers of light from the most distant parts of the universe, parts that the world of science hasn't always been able to see. For the most part, scientists throughout history have just theorized about what lies beyond the limits of a traditional telescope, but with this one, they can finally see the real detail they've been dreaming about this whole time. In addition to its large mirror, the JWST is equipped with a suite of advanced instruments that are capable of detecting a wide range of wavelengths of light. The near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, as it's usually called, on the telescope is a powerful tool designed to capture images in the near-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Why is this important? Well, near-infrared light can penetrate dust clouds that obscure visible light, allowing us to peer deeper into the cosmic depths. NERCOM's high-resolution imaging capabilities provide astronomers with a front-row seat to witness the formation of stars and galaxies. This particular instrument's primary objectives include studying the early universe and its first light, investigating the formation and evolution of galaxies, and identifying and characterizing exoplanets. The detailed images captured by NIRCAM reveal hidden details and structures that were previously inaccessible to telescopes. It helps us understand how galaxies assemble and evolve over time and offers insights into the complex processes that shape our cosmic neighborhood and beyond. But that's just one instrument. There's also the near-infrared spectrograph, NIRSpec, which takes the study of stars and galaxies to a whole new level by breaking down the light emitted by celestial objects into its component colors or wavelengths. This process, called spectroscopy, reveals crucial information about the chemical composition, temperature, and motion of these objects. NERSPEC's ability to analyze the spectral signatures of stars and galaxies gives scientists meticulous details about everything it examines. Examining the absorption and emission lines in the spectra allows researchers to determine the elements present in a star or galaxy, uncovering the building blocks of our universe. This information helps us understand the life cycles of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the intricate interplay between these celestial entities. NIRSpec also plays a vital role in studying distant, high-redshift galaxies. These galaxies emit light that has traveled billions of years to reach us, providing a glimpse into the early stages of the universe. Analyzing their spectra helps astronomers infer their chemical composition, age, and other characteristics, shedding light on the entire evolution of galaxies throughout cosmic history. When it comes to studying the mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, on the JWST takes center stage. MIRI has been specifically designed to observe objects emitting infrared radiation at longer wavelengths, enabling us to explore diverse phenomena, from the formation of stars to the detection of exoplanet atmospheres. One of MIRI's primary goals is to investigate the dusty regions where stars are born. Infrared radiation can penetrate these dense clouds of dust, allowing MIRI to peer through the cosmic haze and witness the birth of stars and planetary systems. It captures detailed images and spectra in the mid-infrared, providing astronomers with invaluable insights into the physical processes occurring within these celestial incubators. But that's not all. MIRI also plays a crucial role in the search for and characterization of exoplanets. It does so by observing in the mid-infrared, allowing MIRI to detect and analyze the faint thermal emissions from exoplanet atmospheres. 
this capability opens up possibilities for studying the composition, temperature, and dynamics of exoplanets, including their potential habitability. MIRI's observations help us determine the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key molecules that could indicate the conditions necessary for life as we know it. But those are just components that may support life, how does the James Webb Telescope search for signs of life? Two of the main processes it uses are spectroscopy and atmospheric analysis, with the help of the four instruments we've just discussed. You see, a planet might not have oxygen and plants from the get-go, and while those are signs of life for us, that's not necessarily the scientific basis for life on a planet. So, the telescope has to get really specific. At the heart of this process lies spectroscopy, a technique that allows scientists to analyze the light emitted or absorbed by an object to determine its composition. When it comes to exoplanets, spectroscopy helps us unravel the molecular secrets hiding within their atmospheres. When the JWST sets its sight upon an exoplanet, it eagerly awaits a transit event, a celestial spectacle where the exoplanet passes in front of its host star from our viewpoint. As this happens, the JWST meticulously observes the starlight filtering through the exoplanet's atmosphere during the transit. Equipped with its cutting-edge instruments, the JWST captures this precious light. NIR Spec specializes in the near-infrared region, while MIRI takes charge in the mid-infrared domain. Together, they form an unstoppable duo, covering a wide range of wavelengths necessary for detailed analysis. But you might be asking, what's the big deal about capturing starlight during a transit? Well, this starlight carries valuable information about the exoplanet's atmospheric composition. As the light passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, it interacts with various molecules present, leaving behind telltale signatures, like molecular fingerprints imprinted on the cosmic canvas. The JWST then gets to work, meticulously analyzing the observed light. Using its spectroscopic capability, scientists can identify specific molecules present in the exoplanet's atmosphere by examining the absorption or emission lines in the light spectrum. Each molecule has its own unique set of spectral features, so they're all going to have their own identities. Scientists just have to analyze and put them together to bring the whole story to one cohesive page. To achieve accurate results, the JWST conducts extensive modeling and calibration. It relies on sophisticated computer simulations and reference spectra of known molecules to match the observed spectral features with their corresponding molecular identities. Think of it like cross-referencing a celestial dictionary to decipher the exoplanet's atmospheric language. But detecting the presence of specific molecules is just the beginning. The quest for signs of life requires a more comprehensive approach. Scientists search for molecules that are considered biomarkers, substances that could potentially be associated with life as we know it. As we've touched on before, these biomarkers might include gases like oxygen, methane, and water vapor, ingredients that are essential for supporting life on Earth. But even then, additional observations and data are needed to assess the overall habitability and potential signs of biological activity. To enhance the search for life, the JWST also employs comparative spectroscopy. Instead of studying lots of individual exoplanets in isolation, scientists analyze multiple exoplanets with similar characteristics to make meaningful comparisons. The idea behind comparative spectroscopy is to identify consistent patterns or deviations among the observed spectra of different exoplanets. By examining a variety of exoplanets, infrared radiation's unique ability to penetrate dense clouds of dust grants MIRI the capability to peer through cosmic haze, providing a front-row seat to the spectacular birth of stars and planetary systems. It meticulously captures detailed images and spectra in the mid-infrared spectrum, unraveling the intricate physical processes within these celestial incubators. But MIRI's role extends beyond star formation, it plays a pivotal part in the quest for exoplanets and their potential habitability. By observing in the mid-infrared range, MIRI detects and analyzes faint thermal emissions from exoplanet atmospheres. This crucial capability enables scientists to study the composition, temperature, and dynamics of these distant worlds, offering insights into their suitability for life. The observations conducted by MIRI help in identifying key molecules such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane, essential ingredients for life as we understand it. However, the presence of these molecules alone doesn't guarantee habitability. Additional factors must be considered to comprehensively assess the potential habitability of exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope employs comparative spectroscopy, targeting exoplanets with similar characteristics, size, mass, distance from their host star, among others, to make meaningful comparisons. Comparative spectroscopy enables scientists to identify recurring features or anomalies in the spectra of these exoplanets, 
providing valuable insights into the presence of life-related molecules or processes. By analyzing molecular absorption or emission lines, researchers can discern patterns that may indicate habitability, such as the presence of water vapor, methane, or oxygen. Furthermore, comparative spectroscopy aids in distinguishing between features attributed to non-biological processes, such as volcanic activity or atmospheric chemistry, and those potentially associated with life. Unexpected variations in spectra may signify unique atmospheric conditions or even exotic forms of life, challenging our current understanding of the cosmos. Moreover, studying a diverse range of exoplanets through comparative spectroscopy offers a broader perspective on habitability. By examining various factors contributing to habitability, scientists gain insights into the conditions necessary for life to emerge and thrive in different environments throughout the universe. The recent announcement by NASA's chief regarding the potential detection of life on Proxima b, located approximately 4.24 light-years away from our solar system, has ignited widespread interest. Proxima b orbits within the habitable zone of its parent star, Proxima Centauri, raising speculation about its potential to harbor life. However, assessing the habitability of Proxima b requires a meticulous examination of multiple factors. These include its atmospheric composition, the presence of water, climate stability, and geological activity. The tidally locked nature of Proxima b, with one side permanently facing the star, adds complexity to its climate and potential habitability. While the discovery of life on Proxima b would be groundbreaking, it necessitates careful consideration and thorough analysis of available data. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced capabilities, promises to provide valuable insights into the habitability of exoplanets and perhaps unlock the mysteries of life beyond Earth. Indeed, the contrast between the permanently illuminated and perpetually dark sides of Proxima b could lead to extreme temperature variations and atmospheric dynamics, potentially impacting the planet's habitability. Understanding the chemistry of Proxima b is also critical in the search for habitable planets. Scientists meticulously analyze its chemical composition, searching for organic compounds, amino acids, and other molecules that serve as the building blocks of life. Moreover, energy sources play a crucial role in the quest for habitable planets. Just as life on Earth relies on energy, scientists explore whether Proxima b receives sufficient energy from its star or other sources to sustain biological processes. Energy fuels the cosmic machinery of life, enabling organisms to grow, reproduce, and thrive. Do you believe Proxima b possesses all the necessary attributes to be officially labeled a habitable planet? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this discussion, please give it a thumbs up, and we look forward to engaging with you in the next one.